Hello and welcome back to another episode of Calamity Death Mode Thrower. In this one, we are going to be taking on the Lunatic Cultist. Um, it's actually my second time filming this intro. OBS isn't cooperating right now. Uh, actually, I'm going to have to double check all these clips to make sure um, everything sounds well. In the last one, none of my audio recorded for some reason. Um, so yeah, want to make sure I got this right. So <laughs> I'm going to cut this clip right away short. So for whatever reason, OBS isn't capturing my game audio now. Uh, I hear it just fine, and it's nothing's working, so I'm going to have to try to fix that right now. And we're back. Okay, so I'm not sure why that was happening, but everything should be back in working order now. So uh, I've been working on getting the cultist dead, and thank god I figured out my mic wasn't working properly before, else I would have had to s completely scrap this whole episode, so... What I've been doing is the, the cultist will only come back, um, god, how often is it? I think it's once every Terraria day, actually. So what I do is I, I made this portable sundial, and that lets me right-click to reset the week period on these. So I can just use them after every fight. The sun scrolls by. I can't use Cosmolite, it just doesn't work to make them respawn. Um, and then once that's through, I just teleport back to the dungeon and fight them again. Um, so the, the big problem for me has been, I, as always with uh, Thrower at this stage, I'm just having a lot of trouble with damage. Um, and really, all that it is is I have to, well, get good. <laughs> I have to hit my shots better, because um, it's a really small target. So, I suppose I can do this one on camera, but first, let me gather up my rage. Um... So, yeah, this fight is not very easy, honestly. I have to use this so the nurse comes along. So yeah, in this one I'm hoping to kill the Moon Lord, but um, it might not happen with our, our gear. Um, if, like, we try for a super long time and it just does not want to work, um, we might have to cheat a little bit and give give ourselves uh, give ourselves some better gear, like maybe the elemental disc or something. Um, but I think we'll be able to do it with uh, with the brackish flask is going to be my main weapon. I think maybe malachite if it turns out better for the eyes, but I don't know. Anyways, now we should be good to fight these guys. Um, so the strategy I've been going for is oh that sucks getting hit immediately twice actually wow. Well. Um, I just try to get up onto this platform and run, basically. Um, and the reason I do that is for adrenaline. So, the only reason I'm- Oh, a zombie, dude. Well, I buff up for Zen. Um, I'm doing that to get adrenaline, and the only reason I would turn back around now is because, uh, he's trying to do that ritual to summon the dragon, because it's faster than me, so. I don't want one of them. Almost have adrenaline. There it is. So now we can actually... There you go, that was pretty good. So now we just repeat that. Oh. These hits suck. Oh, I thought I was doing it. Crap. Now it is. What? It just swapped my weapon. What the heck? Something swapped my weapon on its own there, and I have no idea what. Okay, why are these fireballs hitting me every time now? Okay, I can't dodge these fireballs. What? <laughs> what? What happened? Do I need a roof? I thought you could do... I've done it before without a roof. That's the farthest I've ever gotten in the fight, but what the heck? The, the fireballs were just hitting me every time. I don't want to have to make a big fucking arena, dude. Just for the cultist. Ugh. That's all I have to say. Okay, I'm gonna try a little arena. I have an idea.
All right, got him. Uh, that was really tough for some reason, but uh, ended up getting it at the end there. All right, got it all. Um, drop the start of st Stardust Staff, of course, which can do this. <laughs> uh, I don't want none of this happening though. Not a mage, obviously. Uh, it gave us Meld Blobs, which will help us make the next throwing set. Uh, or not throwing set, but uh, throwing item and armor. Uh, and we need a lot. And meld blobs. Well, we're going to be able to make a little bit of stuff, but we're going to definitely have to farm the nebula pillar. Because uh, they can drop stuff. So, this is material for what? Oh, the Drain's Forge? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about this from Fargo. I might make this, actually. It would, it would save a lot of room in here. I bet we can. Okay, sure. I'll make it. Tinker. Bookcase. Alchemy table. Crystal ball. This. 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 Oh, we don't have the, the ancient manipulator in there. Well, where is it? Yeah, where's our manipulator? What? I have no idea where our manipulator went. It's not here. I still don't know where my ancient manipulator went, so I'm just gonna spawn one in. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't want to do that fight again just because it disappeared. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do with cheat sheet. Alright, back after uh, that ancient manipulator spawn in. I'm not sure what happened, but we just didn't have one anymore. Really don't know why. Now I have the Crucible of the Cosmos, which means I can throw all sorts of stuff in there that I couldn't before. There you go. And, we, and, and we have way more room. So, very happy for that. Now then, uh, meld bars. We should be able to make a few at least. Yeah, okay, let's make all that we can. 30. So, Xerox armor. Okay, apparently it needs other stuff. Oh, no, never mind. I just missed it. Um, the wings are highly radioactive, apparently. 225 and 160 compared to 2, 125. So, yeah, they are much better. Uh, this would cost literally 30. No, actually, no. No, 35. So we can't quite make the full set, uh, and because of that, I just want to make some pitchforks because I've really no idea how they work. Let's have a see. So, okay, they seem to travel really far before falling. Appears a whole bunch. Eh, they kind of seem uh, just pretty basic, honestly. I mean, for single target DPS, it's not going to be very good. Yeah, I don't think these are great at all. <laughs> don't know why they would bother. I think we need th uh, like 300 of them for something, though. Oh, no, never mind. It's a melee weapon. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, they are retrievable, at least. So there's that. Let's see. How, how often do they get used? Not very. I only use, ended up using five there. I don't think I have anything to... Well, actually, using them. Actually, what, what do I have? Three weapons of a ten percent. I don't know. I guess it's they're just kind of basic, or they're like that, uh, you know, on their own. So I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna use them. Uh, if I'm wrong in thinking that, then let me know. But I think that they're kind of trash. <laughs> So I'm going to farm this nebula pillar for a long time now because I want to get the full Xerox set and the wings. So see you once I have a whole bunch, I guess. All right, so I ended up with about 25, which I think, sh or actually 28 now, which I think should be enough. So we're going to go ahead and make all of the meld bars and then Xerox armor, mask. And this is a, a uniform mask, so any class can wear it. And then the wings. Okay. Uh, let me reforge this actually first. Warding. I'm looking for menacing.
I missed it. Crap. Okay. Menacing. Uh, it said radioactive. What does that mean? Does that give us... No. Okay. Um, so then. 79 to 101. Wow. We got a little bit extra max health. We had 50 before. Now we have 80. And now we're doing... Let's see. 99 compared to 99. Okay. Okay. Does our crit go up? Yeah, by 5%. Cool. Uh, all projectiles have special effects on enemy hits. Let's see. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Maybe uh, it's one of those things that doesn't count on dummies, but I don't know. Uh, the attacks the armor is pretty cool. Now we have this, which is just cooler. <laughs> so, I think... With that, we're going to go ahead and try to do all these pillars now, right? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I don't think I have to do them on camera, so I'll see you when I'm dying to Moonlord. <laughs> Alright, so I got the solar pillar, and I only died about 800 times. Um, and with this, we should be able to make a um, daybreak into a throwing daybreak, which is probably not going to be that good. If we're honest, I can make this, which is really, really, really good. Um, like, insanely good. I'm pretty sure I can make it. Oh, no, never mind. You have to beat uh, Devourer of Gods first. Anyways, I could do that once I beat Devourer of Gods, but I'm not going to. Uh, simply because it's not Calamity, so I don't want to do it. Um, so, yeah, we can make the Daybreak Throne. And I don't think it's going to be very good, because who uses a Daybreak? <laughs> but uh, we can do it anyways. Um, daybreak. Let me turn that into daybreak throne. So yeah, I mean, you you already know how daybreak works. It's nothing too special. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe you know, maybe there's a case to be uh made for it. I guess I'll put it up in the hot bar and uh, I might see a use for it. But until then, I don't think I'm gonna be using it very much. Uh, I think we need that, so I'll pick I'll pick two up just in case. Um, yeah, that's it. So next up, I suppose I can do the. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't think any of any, any others are gonna give much to me. Uh, so I'll go over here and finish off the uh, what the purple one. What's it called? Anyways, I thought this was cool enough to talk about our Xerox armor makes a little shuriken dude spawn uh, every time we kill something and you see those little purple shurikens that are floating around everything and they do pretty good damage it's almost like having summons um, and every time we kill someone we get one for a couple of seconds it's, it's pretty nice like when we kill these guys we get a whole bunch of them that's why I thought uh, it looked really cool on this on this pillar um, so far the only tough one really has been the, uh, the solar one. That one is really hard, but, uh, these ones have been a walk in the park so far. So, almost at Moon Lord now we've got this and the, uh, ranged one left to do, so. Yeah, we're gonna see how we fare against Moon Lord. I, I'm not looking too forward to it. I think we're just gonna get our butts kicked. <laughs> Alright, I've got the Vortex Pillar Shield down. The second this hap this is dead, I'm going to go back home, make some super healing potions, and get ready for this fight. So, I need to make sure I grab these first. Pending doom approaches. Alright. I should have everything ready. Oh god. Okay, put all this in. And then make super. Make all of these. Okay, for now, let's just throw this on the ground so that I don't use them on accident reset all of my buffs okay this is gonna go badly I think <laughs> let's hope uh, let's hope for the best I'm gonna use malachite here and uh, just spam this from far away here we go Make sure, yeah, no burden breaker. Okay. Hmm. 
music's off. Oh god, it's raining. You're really gonna do this to me? Okay. Oh, that's right, I need to have this here. Fully concentrating. Okay, no need to discord there. I got some nice damage on the forehead. I right, now I'm gonna save my next adrenaline for uh, the final phase, I think. going too bad right now. I normally struggle pretty bad on Moon Lord, I can't lie. Oh shit, I didn't mean to click that actually. Alright, I gotta focus this eye right now. Got healed for a thousand for some reason. It's fine. As long as it wasn't the eye. I guess that also doesn't matter. A thousand, a thousand damage at this point is nothing. I'm playing it very carefully and far away right now. Ooh. You know what? Actually, let me try for adrenaline. I haven't been thinking about it. Okay, got it. Cool. Is still alive. I'm just hoping I can kill her right now. It's my goal right now is not damage or survival, it's just killing this eye. I'm just gonna assume it's dead. Alright, the other one's about to go down. That eyes out now. I could probably use adrenaline to kill this eye and 
just get it back. I think I might do that. God, this ep this whole episode is gonna be this Moonlord fight at this rate. Unless I just die against the eye like that. I don't know where the eye is at now, but as always, I just gotta assume it's dead now. And I really need health, so I think I'm gonna stall a little bit. Okay, 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 okay. Taking bad damage here. Got to the core. God, our damage is just so low. Maybe we'll try this out. Let's 
just did better. Okay. Guys keep trying to headbutt me. God, these eye lasers are the worst, man. Adrenaline. Holy shit, we're still in this. Where is this eye? Not sure if this is his last form or not, so I don't know whether or not to use my adrenaline. I forget. I wish I'd looked into this before the fight. I really want to just adrenaline, adrenaline him, but I think there's another one at half health. Another phase of eyeballs. fight has already been 14 minutes long. Well, well, 
if uh, turns out that I, if it turns out that I can use my adrenaline and I'm just wasting my time, that's just fine because he can't really kill me right now. So I I think it's just a better call for me to keep it just in case. You'll excuse me if I'm being an idiot. Oh no, okay, we've got eyes now. Wow, okay. That's a lot. It's pretty cool. To be completely fair, I'm not even mad. That was like a, a good 20 minute fight and I did lose it, but I did much better than I thought I was going to do. Man, I wish I'd got it. I've gotten it first try though, that would have been fucking awesome. He's such a tough fight in death mode and we have so little damage, like so little damage. Oh my god. Sorry for making you sit through that for nothing. But that's actually going to be it for this episode. Oh my god. What a fucking crazy fight. Well. Yeah. Okay. In the next one. We're, I'm just going to keep trying him until I, I kill him. And then in the next one you'll see him dead. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah. Until then. See you next time. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah. See you next time.